Hello there! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, click the notification bell, and of course, uh, share the video uh, to your friends. Now, we are going to continue with our uh, Nagmamagaling sa Math series. Of course, there was a segue video that we, we did last time, which is Totropahin Zozoain Challenge. But now, we will continue with our usual uh, math series. Well, guys, today's lesson is about measure of other location. Specifically, we are going to use decile uh, measurement. Now, decile is actually allows us to divide the data set into 10 equal parts. We have D sub 1 or decile 1, which is equivalent to 10% of the data set. And of course, you have also D sub 5 which is equivalent to 50% of the data set, the same with your P50, the same with quartile 2 or Q sub 2, and the median value. And of course, that is up until D sub 9, which is 90% of the data set. Well, with that, knowing this, we are going to solve now our actual example. The situation is, John recorded the number of coffee shops that can cater a certain number of customers. The result is recorded below. The problem is, how many customers could you cater if you are located in decile 8 of the distribution? Now this time, there are four steps that I would like to suggest for us to follow in order for us to solve for a decile problem. Now the first step is, we have to complete the table. As I have already shown you, the table is empty. Now, we need to complete uh, certain columns in order for us to solve for the value of decile 8. Okay, so let's complete now the column. You notice that there were empty columns in our table. We have the cumulative frequency and the class boundaries. Now, to fill these columns here, you know I have already posted a separate, separate video on how to do this part. So, what I am going to show you now is the finished product. Ta-da! This is the finished product of the table where we completed already columns for class boundaries and cumulative frequencies. Now since we're done with step 1, we're ready now to begin with step 2. Okay, we completed step 1 which is uh, filling out certain columns of the table. Now step 2 is we have to locate where the decile 8 is located in our given data set. Now what we're going to do is uh, we will or I'm going to show you the computation for step 2 which is locating our decile 8. To do the step 2 which is locating the position, we need to um, locate the position using this method. Okay? Now, technically, we have as I mentioned in the introduction, we have D1 which is 20% until D sub 9 which is 90% of the distribution. Now, to locate the position, since we're talking about decile 8 here, to locate the position, we will use D sub 8. Locating D sub 8 is simply K and divided by 10. Why divided by 10? It's because we're dealing with decile. And decile, as I mentioned, it divides the data set into 10 parts. That's why it is divided by 10. Okay? Now, our D cell or our K in this case is 8. So we have 8. Our N, as we notice, our N here is 31. So you have 31 divided by our denominator here is 10. Okay, let's use our calculator. You have 8 times 31 divided by 10. You have 24.8. Now, 24.8 is, by the way, not our, not the value of D sub 8 or the decile 8, but rather, that's the location where we will find the actual value of decile 8. The next thing that we will do after we locate this one, we are going to uh, refer this in our table. Now, in this case, you have 24.8, correct? 24.8, we are going to look that one in our cumulative frequency. In the cumulative frequency, we will look for 24.8. But you notice there is no 24.8 in our cumulative frequency. We have here 23, but that's not yet 24.8. So, we will get the next one, which is 28. 
Now technically, it's understood now the 24.8 should be in this interval, 31 to 40, because uh, considering that it's already beyond 24.8, so we are going to highlight this column. Okay, we highlight the column, and then we are going to use now these values here to solve for our um, decile eight. Now take note. The, column, the row here that I have I highlighted is simply the row where we can locate our D cell or D sub 8. Okay? That does not mean that this is our D sub 8 value, but rather this would help us locate where would that value be. Okay? We're done with step 2. There you go. Step 2 is already done. We found out that decimal 8 is located in the fourth class interval of our data set which is between 31 to 40. That's the interval where decimal 8 is located. Now, proceeding to the next step, step 3 is simply we have to solve now the actual value of our decimal 8. That is, by the way, using the given formula. Now, here is our given formula. Take note, in step 3, solving the actual value of decimal 8 is simply using the decimal formula. You notice, in our formula, it's very, very similar with our formula of percentile and uh, quartile. You notice the only thing that they differ is in this position or in this particular part of our formula. Because instead of divided by 4 for quartile and divided by 100 for percentile, we use now 10 here since we are solving for decile. Okay? Now, very quick. This is actually the values of our uh, symbols here. You have LB, lower boundary, CF sub B, the cumulative frequency before, F sub D, K equals the frequency, and then K equals the, the decile location, I equals class width, N equals sample size, and D sub K is the value of the given decile, which is in our problem, it's decile 8. Now, we can actually do our computation what is our lower boundary now we located that uh, decimal 8 is found in this interval okay let me show you this is our um, the given interval which assume that decimal 8 is found okay now the lower boundary here is 30.5 meaning to say our lb is 30.5 okay we have there and then KN divided by 10 was already computed earlier when we locate the value, which is 24.8. It's here. So let's also copy that one. 24.8. And then minus. Now this time, let us uh, find the value of CF sub B, which is the cumulative frequency before that interval. If this is the interval where we locate decimal 8, the cumulative frequency before of this one, that is referring to this cumulative frequency, which is 23. So you have 23. That's C, F, sub B. Now, we have F sub D, K or the frequency. The frequency of this interval, which in this case we have 5. That means divided by 5. And then of course, our I stated in our table, we have 10. We have completely substituted all the values in our uh, formula. What we need to do next here to solve for the value is simply calculate. Well, of course, let's use our calculator. Okay, you have 24.8 minus 23 divided by 5 times 10. That's 3.6, so you have 30.5 plus the one in the quantity together with times 10 is 3.6 equals plus 30.5 you have 34.1 that's d sub 8 okay now d sub 8 or decimal 8 is actually uh, 3.1 if we will round this to the whole number rounding this to the whole number approximately this is 34 Okay, D sub 8. That's the D sub 8. Step 3 is already done. We found out the decimal 8 is uh, equivalent to 34.1. Now, proceeding to the last and final step, which is step 4, is to answer the problem. Yes, we need to answer the problem as it was stated to us uh, earlier. Now, to do that, here is what we're going to do. So, 
since we are now about to finally answer the problem as to us let me show you first the problem the problem asked here is how many customers could you cater if you are in, if you are located in the decel 8 of the distribution now the answer is if you are in the distribution or if you are in the decel 8 of the distribution it means to say you can cater 34 customers because we computed here that decel 8 is equivalent to 34 okay. therefore with our final answer decel 8 is 34 rounded to the nearest whole number rounded to the nearest whole number it's because we're talking about people since the question is uh, related to how many customers so there you go you cannot consider a customer that is point 0.1 that's why we need to round it the whole number so if you are found and then uh, Decel 8 or the 80% of the distribution meaning to say you can cater as a coffee shop you can cater 34 customers now there you go we have completed all the four steps just a very quick recall the four steps are first complete the table second step we will locate the decile value and then step three we will solve the, the problem using the formula and finally step four we have to answer the problem stated in our uh, from the given okay once it's done then we're actually finished now that's the whole process guys if you have some comments suggestions please free to leave them in the comment section before leaving this video with that guys thank you so much for watching and please be safe